I do know that what you eat and your diet is most important oh, out sure. of anything. You can work out all week, but if your diet ain't on point, you're not going to see results. And I'm very keen on what I put in my body now because I do believe that anything that goes on with me externally and internally is through diet. Amen. So, yeah. Your health is your wealth. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one, man. And we on our way to C Block. Y'all know the vibes, man. Y'all see the sun out back there. So y'all know we halfway through it. You know what I mean? So hopefully y'all having yourselves a productive day. I am, man. We making way. I am, we making way. And that's all that matter, man, is making way. You know, that's very important because it's better than sitting still. It's better than doing nothing. It's better than no progress. You know what I mean? It's better than having no progress, man. So, you know, we progressing out here, man. We got to keep that same energy, keep that same focus, you know? But real quick though, man, I wanted y'all to see that clip from Red Man. Shout out to Red Man. Shout out to Method Man. Shout out to... A lot of these guys that's been around for a minute that's pushing health, you know, and I try to tell y'all, man, it's never, ever, ever too late. You know, a lot of this, you know, when you when you see guys like cover on the cover of Men's Health, like 50 Cent, you know, like Buster Rhymes, like Red, uh, uh, Method Man who was on there and Red Man who doing his thing on the health tip too. You know, you just see a lot of people, a lot of older guys that's getting healthy, you know, that didn't, you know, used to have a healthy lifestyle, you know, being young, you know, you want to be out there, you're partying, you know, you find yourself smoking all the time, drinking all the time, you know, we, you know, eating whatever we want, you know, it's a part of, you know, it's a part of life, you know, and growing up, you know, but it's always cool to see people that's older you know, turn their life around and really start caring about things that a lot of people don't really, you know, uh, make want to make adjustments to, you know, when it come to health, bro, like, you know, and you've been eating a certain type of way, living a certain type of way for a long time. A lot of people just want to just continue to resist, you know, the facts that like, listen, you can't do the same things that you used to do that's why i'd be so crazy when you see people still trying to hold on to it's like like bruh you know it's a part of life to make adjustments for your preservation it's a part of life to make adjustments for your growth it's a part of life to make adjustments for your health your mental health for your spirit bro because like i say man if you when you stay the same, bro, like I said, it's just dangerous, man. So if you're not even trying, like I always tell you, you dying. Like literally, if you're not trying to change your life, if you're not trying, you know, to better yourself, if you're not trying to change your diet and you just want to hold on to how you've been living forever and ever, listen, you're going to die. You're going to die. Keep on thinking you can eat how you want to eat. Keep on thinking you can live how you want to live. Do what you want to do and all of that. And we'll see what happened to you. You know what I mean? We'll see what results you get from that. You know? Because I didn't want to do... I didn't want to I didn't want to change either. You know? Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? I, I know what... I know what, what... What they're going through. I know what people going through, bro. You know? But at some point, man, listen, bro, don't wait till it's too late. Don't wait till these doctors, you know, telling you something that you don't want to hear. Don't wait until you crash out. Don't wait for something traumatic happen to make a change in your life, man. You know, that's, that's exactly why I wanted y'all to see that clip, you know, with Red, man, because he's absolutely right. You know, your diet affects you internally and externally bro you know like i told y'all your gut is connected to your brain so anything that's happening when it comes to your emotions when it comes to your mood when it comes to your 
you know, your skin, when it comes to hell, your, your, even your hair. You know what I mean? It tells a story, bro. You know what I mean? It tells a story. So you got to take that into account. Everything that you take in, bro. When you take, you know, when when you taking in good things, vital nutrients and all of that, bro. Listen, you're going to be able to tell. You're going to be able to feel it. You know what I mean? You'll be able to see it in your, in your skin. You're going to be able to <clears throat> feel it in your energy. You know? You'll see it in your hair growth and all that other stuff, bro. You know? But... It, the same goes with when you taking in a bunch of crap you know what i mean you eating a bunch of sugar you eating a bunch of grease you eating a bunch of you know just nonsense treats snacks and all of that listen it's gonna come out one way or another bro you know it's gonna come out in your weight gain it's gonna come out in your bad skin it's gonna come out even in your eyes all of that so you just gotta take that into account you know moving forward bro you know, if you really out here trying to change your life, man, you know, you really out here on on, on, a, on a weight loss journey or whatever the case may be, you really out here trying to get your health right, like it's important, you know, your diet, you know, your diet is very important, bro. You know, we have to learn the same things just with being on this journey of semen retention, bro. We know, like, you know, taking in all that porn, taking in all of that shit that we was watching, bro. Listen, that affected us externally as well. You know what I mean? It affected us internally and externally. You know, with our speech, how we talk, you know what I mean? Our The, the anxiety that we had, you know, our confidence. It affected everything. Our skin, all of that, bro. You know, we had to learn it. We had to learn that the hard way too. You know, so the same goes with your diet and food, bro. You know, it is what it is, man. Some people gonna sit there and fight it tooth and nail and then wondering like why, you know, why they so low vibrations because you eating a bunch of low vibration ass shit. You not feeding your soul. You not feeding your spirit. You know, you just feeding the flesh, bro. You know what I mean? And I know sometimes we gonna wanna eat what we wanna eat. I get it. Sometimes I do eat what I wanna eat. But guess what, bro? I make more of a habit of eating the things that I need to eat. You know what I mean? Feeding the things that I need to feed like my spirit, bro. You know what I mean? Like my soul. Things that are nourishing to my body. You know what I mean? Things that are great for my energy. Great for my blood. Great for my mind. Because food affects your mind. You know, so that's why you got to be careful because if you're just going out there buying anything in these stores, bruh, whole bunch of shit, ingredients that you can't even pronounce, you don't even know that those are things to keep you addicted. You know what I mean? Those are things that's going to keep you on a low vibration, keep you on a low frequency. You don't even know what they is. You can't even pronounce them. So you think the mad scientists really care about your health? No. That's why we passing and sending everything on through like we talked about last week. That's why they sending it right on through. Because we the, we the ones that's in the lower class that's eating that. We the ones that's in the lower class that's in these dollar stores. That's in these aisles. Knowing ain't nothing good in them aisles, bro. Ain't nothing good in them aisles. Remember that, too, when you go to the grocery store. Ain't nothing good in them aisles, in them boxes. Stay your ass on the outskirts where the produce at, where the fruit at. You know what I mean? The only time you need to go in the aisles is if it's for some, you know, you know, uh, some, some canned goods. Not any canned goods, but some organic canned goods. I, I grabbed some organic beans out of there. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, water, you know, stuff like that, stuff like that. Yeah, a little ticky tacky things. But you got when you when you when you see people's grocery carts, man, it be just full of shit that's in these aisles. Whether it's cereals, all types of granola bars, all types of potato chips, all types of crackers, all types of honey buns, little debbies. Whole, they're cleaning out the whole little Debbie's aisle, you know, top ramen and shit like that. All of it is bullshit for your body. All of it is low vibration as hell. And it's gonna, and you gonna feel it. 
you gon' feel it. Yo, your whole vibration be low after your ass eat one of them damn strawberry shortcakes. You know how I know? Because that was my favorite little Debbie joint. You know what I mean? You put the motherfuckers in the freezer, them shits is fire! Fire. You know, but I had to stop eating them damn things, man. Them shits was too good, to, dog. It ain't a coincidence why they so damn good. They mean it to be like that because that processed sugar is stronger than cocaine. You know, and that's why I tell you to be careful because you'll find yourself fiending for that shit. You'll find yourself, you know, addicted to that shit, needing that sodium. You know what's in a lot of those chips that y'all eat? MSG, monosodium glutamate. Mono sodium glutamate, and guess what? When you eat, what ha you know what happens when you eat mono sodium glutamate? That's in your Doritos. That's in all of these chips, bro. You get a headache, and there's another thing that triggers the brain when you eat MSG that cuts off what tells you that you're full. So. Mono sodium glutamate, you find yourself eating a lot of it. You ever, you ever, you know, guzzled a bunch of fucking chips, just fucking just inhaled a fucking a, a crazy amount of chips? It's because that mono sodium glutamate is in there and it cut off the signal to your brain to tell you that you full. So in your brain, you know, in your mind, you still think you hungry. So you just eating it, eating away. A lot of that stuff is in that food. You think you just eating some fire chips, don't you? You thought you, damn, these chips is good. You thought you was just eating some regular snack cakes. Nah, bro. That processed sugar is addictive as hell. That monosodium glutamate is, uh, is addictive as hell. And all those other things that's up in there. And when it's pieced together, because it ain't nothing but scientists that's coming up with this shit. When it's all put together, it just make one big effing just shit show in your brain that's 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 releasing all your dopamine just like porn would do so you getting all these dopamine releases from that why you think i gained so much weight at one point when i was addicted and all of that because when i wasn't drinking when i was when i wasn't drinking and doing drugs i had to get a dopamine release somehow so what would i do i go find shit like that i go find the chips i go find the sugar you know what I mean? I go find all of the toxic shit that I don't need because I know that that was going to give me the best release. It's kind of like heroin addicts, right? You know, what do heroin addicts do? They find, they want the shit, they want the shit that damn near that, 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 that they heard about killing somebody. You know what I mean? That was what attracted them to a certain type of bag when they hear people overdosing on it. Like, oh, they overdosed on that shit? Oh, damn, we got to get that because that meant that it was strong. You know what I'm saying? So you would have all the fiends trying to get to the shit that took such and such out or made such and such overdose. Bruh, it's the same with this food. It's the same with that porn. You know what I mean? So when you offer, when you offer, when you offer all of that, you're going to go towards the next best thing. Whatever else you can get that could get you a release of that dopamine, bruh. So we just gotta 